Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimax, and today I'm going to show you how to make your computer a little bit faster than it is now. Uh, I'm going to show you some easy steps and some a little bit advanced steps, but as long as you bear with me, it should be all fine. Uh, and to those uh, new viewers and new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate your love and support. I really love you guys. But yeah, alright, let's get to it. So we're going to go to Start. We're going to go to Control Panel. We're going to go to hardware and sound and we're going to go to power options. This is like the easiest step uh, that anyone can follow. Uh, your computer is probably check on power saver or balance. It just depends on uh, what machine you have. I just put mine in high performance. Uh, if you guys are using a laptop, uh, high performance is going to require a little bit more energy. Therefore, um, your this should be this shouldn't be a problem for desktop computers but if you have a laptop your battery is gonna drain a little bit faster so just be aware of that and yeah that's um that's it boosts up the performance just by a little bit like it says high performance so you'll see a little bit difference it's not like a very big major difference just keep that in mind so yeah so now that's the first way we're gonna go for the second way now we're gonna go to start where this is just a few steps we're gonna go to control panel we're gonna go to appearance personalization. We're gonna show hidden. We're gonna click on show hidden files and folders. And right under the view tab, you wanna click on show hidden show hidden files. You just wanna click OK and you just wanna exit out. And the reason why we did this is because we're gonna delete the temporary files that the computer is probably never gonna use again. And they're just uh, taking up space on your computer. So we're gonna go to start. We're gonna go to computer. We're gonna go to our main where our main operating system is installed, which is always the C drive for most of the time. We're gonna double click on that. We're gonna click on users. And you're gonna click on the user that you are currently using. Mine says Hector Bautista, so I'm gonna double click on that. And we're gonna look for a folder called App Data. It's a little faded folder meaning that it was hidden before. And you just wanna double click on that. You wanna click local and then you wanna go down to you see temp. And uh, right here, you could just hit Control A, and you could just uh, right-click and delete it. Don't worry about your system being corrupted or anything. It's just deleting um, temporary files that you you would never encounter. Uh, but there there's gonna be some files that you are currently using right now, and the computer will not allow you to delete them. So that's really good because uh, you don't want to mess like uh, like me, for example. I'm recording right now, and it's storing temporary files, as you can see, Camrec camera but I, I'm not gonna go into detail about that so don't worry guys if you, if, uh, if it says the action cannot be completed just skip it don't worry about it just skip it like pretend no nothing never happened and you could just uh, go to your recycling bin and just empty it out and bam that's it uh, we're gonna go to um, well, MS config so you just wanna hit start and in the search bar you could just type run or if you want to be the techie nerd, you could just hit your Windows key and R, and then uh, the run program would just uh, come out. And right here, you just want to type MS config, and you just want to click OK. And right here, you're going to see a little like tabs. You, you want to go to the startup tab, and right here, you're going to see all these um, all these uh, softwares right here that that will start with your computer every single time you turn it on, every single time. Uh, you could just go ahead and uncheck the programs that you're probably never gonna use like me all of these were checked before but I'm obviously I'm not by unchecking these programs your computer will boot a little bit faster into your user into your main desktop there are some programs that are unnecessary to start with your computer like iTunes like I don't want that to start with my computer um, GoPro like some other stuff that people don't have but update checker like you don't even see the physical update checker popping up in your computer it's running behind it's like multitasking behind the background so whenever you 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 click on that it's gonna open right away but I don't really need it we're probably never gonna use it so uncheck like just stuff that that you don't use like Microsoft Office 10 something that starts up with your computer I'm pretty sure you get what I'm saying but beware guys don't uncheck on uh, Microsoft Windows operating system or, or anything to do with Microsoft or your drivers like NVIDIA, that's my my video driver. I do not want to uncheck that because I don't want to mess anything up. I could just uncheck Microsoft 
office xbox 360 accessories but your guests are going to encounter something different like adobe reader i don't need that to start up with my computer every single time just leave important stuff that actually runs with your computer like the operating system and the drivers that's it so yeah guys i'm just going to click ok and uh, i'm going to exit without a restart right now because i'm doing this video for you guys and the last way to do this we're going to go to start all programs we're going to go to accessories we're going to go to system tools and we're going to go to disk cleanup and you could just choose uh, what um, what disk you want to clean up I, I currently want to clean up my main operating system CD I'm going to click OK and you could just check all these and you could just go ahead and delete them so me I'm o I almost saved almost a gigabyte just by checking all these oh, more, oh, 2 gigabytes nice so you could just click OK and it will delete the files for you now again like if you have multiple uh, drives like me uh, I'm gonna do that to all my drives but yeah but this but this is just a quick simple video on how to speed up your computer just by a little bit faster and boost up the performance a little bit so guys thank you so much for watching this video please comment thumbs up and and subscribe for more uh, PC tutorials again as I was say previous in my pre previous videos before Windows 10 is just right around the corner guys it's like almost a month away from now and I cannot wait how to show you how to downgrade that dual boot with Windows 7 and Windows 8 Windows 10 is gonna be a complete series right here guys so yeah guys thank you so much for all your love and support this is PSP Slumhacks bye